All right. Praise the Lord. Today's word of the day comes from the book of Joshua, chapter 18, verse 7a, the first half of verse 7. Joshua 18, verse 7a. It says, But the Levites have no part among you, for the priesthood of the Lord is their inheritance. Amen. Praise the Lord. But the Levites have no part among you, for the priesthood of the Lord is their inheritance. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Well, this is a story where they were beginning to uh, divide up the, the promised land after Joshua had led them into the promised land. They uh, defeated Jericho and Ai and all these other places. And now it's time for each tribe to get their portion. And they're going to build cities, and they're going to have their work, and they're going to do all those things. But the Levites didn't get that. The Levites got the Lord. They were dedicated to the things of the kingdom of God. They were part of the king's court, you could say. In those days, there were judges. Later on, there were kings. And we know that in a kingdom, you have a king, and you have a court that of officials that do the work for the king, and then you have the subjects out there in in the rest of the kingdom who are blessed by a good king if there is a good king besides jesus christ and so uh we see here the levites what a blessing rather than them getting houses and land their blessing was to work in the temple to be in god's presence god was their inheritance is uh, actually uh what it says in another part of the word and so what a blessing it is to be able to be there in god's presence and doing the things of God. And but for us today, there's something special. In first Peter chapter two, verses nine through ten, it says, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people. So you see, they had royalty and they had priests, but here we are a royal priesthood. We are part of the kingdom of God, uh, the courts of God. And, and if God is calling us into a ministry and so forth, uh, we are part of that. Uh, if you've ever thought about, there are people who accept Christ right before their deathbed, and and, and they they they're saved, and then they are they go into heaven or paradise. But but for those of us that God is sanctifying, the ones He's 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 given us gifts and things, He's using us to be able to minister to others in whatever form He wishes. I should finish this verse. So again, we're a holy nation, his own special people, a royal priesthood, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. Praise the Lord. As as we heard in that testimony or that prayer request of the person in, in Iran who uh, was sharing with her family, uh, God has also called us to talk about his goodness and share it with others one way or another. Who once were not a people, but now you are the people of God who have not who had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Praise the Lord, that's who we are. And so again in First Peter four, verse ten, as each one has received a gift, minister it to one another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So he gives gifts to his children. Uh, and so we uh, we have these gifts not for our own purposes, but to satisfy ourselves or whatever else, but to to use these gifts, whatever they are, to be a blessing to others, that others would come and see him and come to him. Uh, but what a blessing that we are that royal priesthood that um, the Levites were in those days, the ones who was inheritance. It's not about property and cars and all of that. It's about having God, our, the kingdom of God is our inheritance. We are part of his family. And of course, the king's family uh, was in the palace, was in, in, the, in the good place. And so we, uh, too, are like those Levites, praise the Lord. And so, Heavenly Father, we thank you for that. We thank you that you are our inheritance. You really are our inheritance. And there is nothing better. Um, there is nothing the world can offer or anything else but to be a part of your kingdom, Lord. And so we thank you for your ways, that you were always that way. And thank you for letting us be a part of everything you're doing. And uh, we praise you and give you all honor and glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that 
is our word of the day. Praise the 